Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. Today's video is a bit of a mess. I like to call it, don't work with animals around you. And you will see why as the video progresses. What happened was I was working on this mandala diamond painting, which I really liked. Uh, the swirly part with the beautiful colors of pink and yellow. But then all of the background was also going to be more pink. And I simply didn't want to do any more pink gems. And I thought, okay, well, I might paint the background because I have mentioned in many videos, if there is a shortcut, I will find the shortcut. So I thought I would just bring out some of my acrylic paints. So I started off painting the background in the gold paint. It was not as opaque as I hoped, so I would have had to have done a number of layers to really cover it. And I thought, okay, I can do that. That's no big deal. And then while I'd started that, Luna appeared out of nowhere. I thought she was outside, but no, she was apparently just sleeping, waiting in the house somewhere, sensed I was working with messy stuff, so decided to jump up and constantly lick the canvas. Now, I don't know if other people have this problem with their cats, but only on some canvases, not all canvases, Luna goes really manic over some of the glue as I say on just some canvases I don't know what's in the glue they're using but she just wants to lick it it's also I think the sense of or the feeling of the diamonds themselves because so, I know I love rubbing my hand over the diamonds and they feel very nice <laughs> to do that so maybe it's the same sensation if she's licking them but I couldn't stop her I kept pushing her off the desk I tried locking her out the room I got Terry to distract her but she just kept coming back uh, so I decided to even shortcut it even more and just color in or paint the bits that really desperately sort of needed it like in the finer parts of the swirls where you would have had to have put some drills and then I thought I'll just cut around it and just keep the swirly bit and get rid of the background bit altogether. And uh, you'll see at the end, it's, this is how to stuff up a diamond painting 101. I really ruined it. So I took what was a beautiful diamond painting to start with and completely ballsed it up. Thanks to Luna. <laughs> and so Luna and I would like to present to you this really terrible effort of customizing and shortcutting a diamond painting. So, yep, here it is, <laughs> disaster of a diamond painting. Um, I, I don't know what to say. The gold paint in the end did turn out quite nice. I did put it on quite thick. So had the whole thing worked the way I wanted it to, that would have been a nice background colour for the piece. Um, but as you can see, I was trying to cut around it, um, just trying to get... You know, I thought if I cut some of the glue off, Luna might just take that piece and go away. I'm not sure it's really healthy for her, but anything to get her attention elsewhere at the time, uh, it didn't work. So I thought I would try and cut around each and every swirl and I, yeah, didn't want to do that either. Then I thought I'd do a shape and just chunk on the gold glue, but that's what it would have looked like. So I'm keeping that corner there just as an example for myself of what it looked like. Um, 
But this would have been really nice with all of the gold painted on it nicely, but it's a bit um, butchered now and ballsed up. So yeah, but I'm still gonna keep it and put it in my display book because it's still a diamond painting I finished this month. Um, but yeah, don't work with cats around is all I can say. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's important to show the failures as well as the successes, I think, uh, just to prove that we all can't be perfect with everything we do. Um, I'm rarely perfect with anything I do. <laughs> this was an exceptionally bad, bad example of shortcutting uh, or of or you could say it's an exceptionally good example of shortcutting gone wrong. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, I promise not everything is a disaster, but I do like to show the bad with the good. Um, if you could reward such a thing by subscribing if you haven't done so already, hitting that like button and also the notification bell. If you'd like to support my channel further and keep Luna in things that aren't glue related, maybe catnip. Maybe there's catnip in the glue. I don't know. But I do have a Kofi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But I think that will do it for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.